What is up people? So I've got a video here that says a uh, best proof that God created the world. So let's look at the video and see what it has to say. Do you know that scientists might have just found the greatest evidence that God created the universe? It's doing research at CERN in Switzerland in 2012. They discovered something amazing. Vo okay, wait. Um, one thing. I really feel like he's trolling, uh, but I don't know. And second thing. Scientists may have just found some this this particular thing that he's talking about. Uh, the discovery in CERN of the God particle has been made in 2012. That's like 10 years ago. And YouTube Shorts, this is a short video. YouTube Shorts were only came out in 2020 or later, I think. But let's see what he's saying. We've been taught for years that the atom is the smallest particle in existence. And an atom is made up of electrons... No, we've not been told for years that the atom is the smallest particle. We've learned like for more than 100 years now that the atom is composed of more particles inside. The, the discovery of the electron was made before the turn of the 1900s, I think, or early 1900s, maybe. Protons and neutrons. Scientists then discovered that protons and neutrons were actually made up of things called quarks. So to study quarks further, they fired two electrons at one another to see how quarks would... Electrons are not even made of quarks. Electrons are leptons that are not made of quarks. Scientists did not fire two electrons at each other to study quarks, but let's see where he's going with this. React. And what they discovered was monumental. When the two protons collided, they found something called the God particle. Now he says protons, but uh, he's brought up the God particle, okay? Check this out. The God particle behaved exactly like sound waves and the bible says that god created the world with his words you believe god is the creator of the universe then type creator in the comment and like and subscribe okay i ha i really feel like he's trolling at this point because you'd have to be monumentally stupid to make this kind of an association first of all when the god particle was discovered it didn't come out with a label saying God particle. It was named that way. The word, the name God particle is a metaphor. It's not a literal uh, indication that it has something to do with God. It's a metaphorical name. But there are many scientists against that sort of naming because there are always idiots like these who will take this metaphor literally and interpret some divine, some godly thing in that. That's why scientists are against this. Now, it's uh, if he was being sarcastic, it's very hard to tell. I'm going to assume this is a Christian uh, channel. For anyone who thinks that I'm disproportionately attacking Hindus for making interpretations like these, no. Uh, in all religions, you're going to find people like these who will make metaphorical, literally interpret metaphorical namings like this. So what I think is that this person, whoever made this video, is a very young, probably 19, 20 year old, who's been brainwashed, who grew up in a very orthodox Christian household. And he's been brainwashed to interpret everything he sees in the world as the work of God. Whenever he learns about new research from science, he's going to look at it from that perspective of, uh, hey, God did this. What does this mean from the perspective of God? So if God made the world, why would we discover such a thing? That's what he's going to think. So yeah, that's it for this video, I think. See you in the next one.